And game three starts with a great strike. Lopez and two sweepers from Sonny Gray. Stuck with it. Is, don't throw him a fastball he can reach. <laughs> very, very good fat. A one two. Reaches out, grounds it through the middle, a base hit for Altuve. The field is great hitters like you, AJ. A lot of great hitters there. Alex Bregman, a ton of postseason experiences as we're dealing with injuries and struggles. Bregman was in there just about every. Altuve dealt with injury. Alvarez dealt with injury. A 1 1. He's down and away. My question. 1 6 1. He got to get 162. <laughs> to the plate so the umpire cam attached to those throughout this game because they're going to move we're going to talk about how hard it is to hit 2-2 two -two. we have today Knight and Rayburn down the line in the first and a 2-2 two -two pitch to Bregman at the sinker that's got great run back and then he's got that sweeper that goes Here's Alvarez, dangerous hitter, hugs one down the line, it's a double for Alvarez, and two in scoring position for the Astros, who are threatening in the first. The Twins have to pitch Alvarez, he gets in, probably breaks his bat, just takes a thumbs in, I think Warner thought it was going to be foul, hits right on the line, and then he ticks it with his glove. For... Here's Tucker. This is a really tough pocket, as Tucker, a 29 homer campaign. has affected Kirloff at first base, field yeah. that crown ball. Could have, could have an up affair. Besides, he's just very, very talented. But I do think that that those shadows on Kirillov and Tucker serves it in the left field to put the Astros in front. Altuve in Houston. Guys like Kyle Tucker are so tough with runners in scoring position. They're got the whole left side open for a hitter that talented. That's got oh, the left side of the infield. Yep. Jose Abreu takes ball one up and in. Watch them in the first pitch right there. You cannot let Abreu get it. You can keep that ball up and in on him. He loves to swing at it. He just can't. Abreu with runners at the corners. Oh, one's up oh, and in under the one. hands. The thing Jose Abreu did in his career at the White Sox was he was able to hit the break. Pitch to Abreu. Is launched. Gone. No doubt about it. That got out quick. That's the break. AJ, you took the pitches you talked about, but he made the adjustment there, and it's 4 nothing. Okay, so we just misses the misses location. I mean, that is right down the middle. Just eight home runs allowed in 184. So far, these shadows aren't quite doing what we thought they were. He swings at everything. He's got like the number one chase rate in the American League. Get back on track. 0-2. Frozen. Hey! With that sinker on this Abreu blast. What? Uh, middle of the plate, kind of backup breaking ball. It's a pitch that Sonny doesn't really miss with either. The sweeper was July of 2012, giving up a home run on that pitch. Get that pitch outside of the strike zone, not in. Like in this series, has won the first two games of this series. Astros strike first in game. Twin Cities of Minneapolis, St. Paul. We're at Target Field. We're Jose Abreu. The series and Jeffers has started every game of the postseason. Christian Javier is on the bump. Throw some different stuff to lefties, but he's working the top of the zone at the bottom of the zone. So these Twins hitters are going to be ready to see the righties. This is a lefty heavy lineup. And it's a ball and a strike on a very strong rookie year. And to add to Wayno's point and your point, Adam, about the hitters. Julian fouls it away. It's one and two. He Outside. He's got a very good eye, a very low on base percentage among rookies this season. A 2 2 pitch from Javier is a breaking hey! ball that drops in for called strike three. After the heaters, coming out of the same slot. Switch hitter bats lefty. And there's that breaking ball again. Get some left handed hitters. Nothing at two. Watch for him, too. He, Javier saw earlier, if he's off that same slot, if he's working that heater up in a way, he can bring that back towards the middle. He does start the windup before it runs out. And new rules this season. Team, there's a pitch clock with 20 seconds with runners on base. Three, AJ, to Polanco. Outside. Door tried to stay away. You see that pitch clock coming down, right? You got three while you're going. Three and two. But as long as you start the windup right, before the pitch clock hits zero, you're good too. 
Lead goes down. Not that time. Here's Kepler. Well, you, it, it's like a shot clock or a play clock in basketball. Yeah, but they got to do it to mess him up. They can't actually be uh -huh. going. They, they, at eight, they should. Kepler waves and misses. I, I tell you what, the, the pitch column, they're going to have a hard time hearing that anyways. But they start chanting. Marcus Tucker at the track, getting the stop sign. Of Change of up. Kepler 0-2 gets it. After and he rifles it off the right center field wall. Played perfectly by Tucker. Tommy Watkins, the who takes a home run hack at a high fastball, nothing and one. Jays, two home runs in his first two for the first time in nearly a month. But he's quickly down, nothing and two. A fastball and then a got a strike. Then the nasty slider. Now he can go either way. He can go down and up. Oh two, and he got him with that slider tailing away. In Good slider. Starts as a strike way no breaks off. Twins. This is, and I know he's a lot Correa here in this big spot. Uh, that comes right after him. He's got the lefty on deck, though. What did we ask? Scoring position. He just smiled and said, yeah, well, here we go. First at bat. And this is why you move him around in the line. In the first couple games of this series, he moved up in the order in game two. First. There's that nasty slider. It's one and two. They can't see. The deception, but Carlos Correa, you don't see Carlos Correa take a swing like that. And you know if a one-two. He could not catch up with the fastball scoring position. Well, the fans are dealing with the sunlight and uh change in Pena to start off this top of the second inning. No, no, no. That one's off the bat. It's foul, and it's nothing at two. Five years of age. Pena, very solid numbers overalls. 0-2. Oh, 1-2. One, two. One, two. And the book on... Oh, Stays with that high fastball. Pitcher, you know, you give up a couple of hits to him, it, it may give it up the middle. Well, here's the one down, too. Almost more up to down. Dang. Is there something with his grip? Is there something with... Second. Maldonado, one of the best sacrifice bunters in baseball, drops a. Per we haven't really talked about this a lot the, uh, prior to the last couple of years, right? Sure, it's going to break traditionally eight, nine inches horizontally, right? A sweeper that. Alter, but pulls it foul. It's a big breaking pitch, and the dip, and it's going to be towards the bottom left of the ball. That means it's going down. Uh, this seam. This seam has to be pointed, and hitters don't see that. You know, you might have seen some scribble on there. Grounds it to third. Good backhand play by Lewis. Being Man in scoring position left on base to the bottom of the second. Astros with four in the first. Now the Twins coming to bat in the very sharp first inning despite having some traffic. He threw 21 pitches in those two innings. Three, four, five. He doesn't go deep, really deep into game. Oh, but to let him get into the sixth, seventh inning very often. Sure. He has a full bullpen, so if he gets five out of hot. Nothing in two on Kirilov. He goes down swinging. I got tell me and explain to people how the shadows are affecting the We took BP at this time. Yeah, so I saw and, and Javier's a master at tunneling There no, is no. Walner taking a ball and one breaks and one stays straight and Javier with the shadows You can't pick up which one is which that's why I think you see him throwing so everything comes out of the same spot Big cut from Walner the Minnesota his head just like man can't see. Yeah. I know we're making a big deal out of it, but it is. Houston early, a three run shot. Check swing from Walner, he stays alive. Strike zone right there to get ahead of the batters, and then he'll work. To try to get the rookie Walner, who waves through the breaking ball and misses. You think, I can't see. I, I just, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. But yeah. that is the pitches. That's a very high rate. I don't know if I got 12 swing and misses all year. <laughs> Brzezinski. Bunt and the catcher Maldonado, he's got it. 33 year old Sonny Gray deals to Jordan Alvarez and drops hey. in. Part of a four run first. Hey. And their first hit. Not crying, it just wasn't there. See, that's a hit too. That's a hit. <laughs> Same spot for but Jordan Alvarez officially his fourth hit of the Sear Times. Tried to throw a fastball in. 
Seam ball. Mm, really tough. If you're coming in there, you want it really jammed in there right there. I know he left that over the plate a little bit. Tough man has been on base in all three innings for the Astros, who are top five in baseball. This every, every breaking ball that Sonny Gray throws, these guys are, are not only are they. Oh. Not a fastball on Tucker is outside. Two and one. Yeah, I mean, he. <laughs> I think I think just off the plate away where you get Tucker to chase is a little bit under the zone a 3 1 Tucker bounces it right side to move Alvarez the longers on the AL side you see our whole schedule for the next two nights between what does Abreu do he's not swinging at it can you the question is can Sonny Gray execute enough feet this one he lives foul nothing in two he and he can throw him that he can throw him that sweeper inches off the plate down the way he can get it Try to jam him that time with the fastball. That's thinking. Okay. He do, I do a sweeper for a strike Can he what if he dotted that two? Oh two pitch yes, he did. Did he go? He did. To the one middle in but he never gets off of it down the way it burned me earlier this year, too I think here's Diaz Foul back and out of play the rookie just doesn't have to throw him a strike. He can elevate, sweep him away. Diaz fouls one away. On third base and less than two. And just right there, Sonny made a mistake. That was probably. 0 oh, 2. In the dirt, good stop by Jeffers. So no, a, you saw us Jeffers with the stop right there. The ball gets by the catcher. 1 2. Another great diving stop. Jeffers has the far superior offensive prowess. He's. And Diaz stays alive. Mistake again. You have to make a perfect pitch all the time. Hitters miss mistakes, yeah, though. It's hitting hard, isn't it? Right here. Wow. A little too much, though. We're on the corner away, the hitter's not swinging at that, right? It's It's got to it's gotta light up. The seventh pitch to Diaz. Drops it. At third, still four nothing. Been a little bit, right? No. No. It's still not great. Talk about here standing in the light. Still, his arm when yeah. he lets the ball go is going down. That's in there for a strike. Raleigh, North Carolina, the best season of his very young career. Javier, 26 years of what in baseball terms is basically a throwaway amount of money. Ten thousand. No, he Julia didn't. checks his swing, no swing, and appearances were all relief outings. The last three counting to hitter thrown by these Astros. Outside, 3 1. That's the. Sounds like Christian Javier starting in Philly, ruckus environment. Dusty's like, yeah, we're good. It's a little adrenaline, just see. That's, that's a great eye by Julia. And earlier, you had the opportunity. They had second and third. One. They'd love to get a couple of runs pushed across here, swing that momentum back their way. A clutch hit. Derek Jeter. Hang in there. Blooded nature. Things are heating up now. Here comes Polanco with two aboard. Polanco takes that slider for a strike. And sometimes it's a breaking. A one. Let's hit this. Two strikes. He hit him with two strikes. Well, that sets up this whole inning. If the Twins go out and score the order, coming up with all the traffic. He's inside. Now it's two and one. And said, hey, he's not throwing a whole lot of strikes. Don't let him get you out. Oh, Polanco, half swing and miss. And he's like two one. He hit a guy, walked a guy. He's got to throw me a heater, and he's still. Two two. There's the fastball, and he could not catch up. If he does it, he can't do anything with it, but pop it up. But look where this is, right at the top of the zone. And after he's. And there's a breaking ball strike. That curveball just really did it to Polanco after the mound meeting. And this is a big at bat in this game. Now a fastball. So this sequence. Biggest pitches when there's more traffic out there. I mean, earlier with second. Calvarez has to shield his eyes from the sun. And he's. Fastball down the middle. It looked like it almost knocked the bat out of his hands to me. Again, strike breaking ball, slow him down. And then, boom, I'm going to finish him hitter's timing. Lewis Hitteras tracking it, trying to get there. He's got it. We're through the first three. The conditions, but these are the conditions that we're dealing with, and and the Astros found a way to score some runs. He, he competes so well. I mean, he always finds a way to get through uh, uh, inning. Postseason plate appearances in his career, and there is he's in hit as he loops it over Correa. Again, they're sitting breaking ball. I'm telling you, they're sitting breaking ball because they are good. Sunny Gray breaking balls. 
Dubon swung at both of them. At least, I think all four of them are on sweepers. And then he throws fastballs and they're late. No. Yeah. Yeah, it has to be able to be adjusted on the fly. And I think he did. Yeah. Well, here's, how, here's how these teams combat over and over and over again until they got it. Ball's inside. They may come into a game. The guys with hoppy fastballs, you saw them get on top of Verlander's heater the other day, I guarantee. Two and one on Pena. Go out. It's Kepler coming in. The spins perfectly because all the technology now, it, it shows you the axis it's been. It, the, the technology that we took BP at this time. in the baseball yeah, game. I, we do. There's a 3 1 spot. And he's one of those guys to back up Ryan tomorrow. So they may use their pin liberally, but all day though, with that last pitch to Jose Altuve. To get it ahead. might be tightening up. Yep. Dubon goes. Altuve reaches out and pokes it. Field that's wide open over here. Jose Altuve will use that if he gets it. So it's a tough. By booking.com. Christian Javier with three shutout frames so far after the Astro fourth. And it's bounce one to his counterpart, Jeremy Pena, the man who replaced. Which one do you look for? Here's Kirillov. Outside. 78. Miss both of them. Right side this time. Altuve is there. Two of Corey's for Minnesota this season. 25 during Walner's senior year at Forest Lake area. So he ends up going down to Southern Mississippi. It's Minnesota Twins. How lucky is that? Your hometown team. Show rookie year. He's ahead of the count. Two ball about playing here. He's got a little cold sometimes. In Minnesota? <laughs> Get out of here. The, the stadium, it looked like it was just surrounded by snow. I thought yeah. that was. <laughs> Struck out seven twins through four shutout innings. His playoff prowess continued. Because of Jose Abreu. How important was that swing? Well, that was very important. And, uh, you know, the fact is you got to get your breaking ball over against these guys so they can hit that fast. Well, Christian Javier so far. Deep to left field, ranging back is Walner at the 5 nothing lead in the fifth on Sonny Gray. Two homers allowed by... Uh, and, and Sonny's missed up with that a little bit today, but that's another sweeper, just another... Just to stick to it. There's Alvarez fouling it away. And Alvarez strokes one for a third time, and this guy is inevitable right that's now. Not throwing a whole lot of strikes. That's Don't just a hanger, you, you know. Sonny wants that one. Here is Tucker. He'll right take a strike down zone. to Tom Verducci yeah, with Alex Bregman. To square one up. With second. How about the lighting conditions? Are they improving right, as the game goes on? We've got two stud pitchers going at it. So he gets one of the playoffs the here. And the Orioles take one just outside. Two and one. <laughs> he said, man, I'm not telling you what I'm looking for. What's in Astros offense? That, that has been described by managers. And and very common word used to here's describe. How, here's how these teams combat. They are. They're top of Verlander's. Three and one on Tucker. Gray. Two and one on Payne. You can hear that this season for the Minnesota Twins. But you can tell he's frustrated. Having given up to Bulldog. Just four plus innings thrown by the 33 year old veteran and Emilio Pagan is on to face Jose Abreu who had that huge facing the bottom of the order got through with no damage. The key for him we know is cutter his cutter has become a weapon for him. 0 2. Lifted foul. Leonidas chin thing going on he's got the shirt undone what a key he was in Chicago for so many years and this guy will he was the leader of that team he was the guy that played every day for that team he was with two aboard he's wow. also the guy that the opposing pitchers game beach right so now he goes into a, a lineup full of other guys like that two strike offering from Pagan to a brave is fouled away again against Sonny Gray Ties his shortest. It's hit under 100 against that pitch this year. But these Astros able to. Don't be surprised you see a breaking ball just off the player, just under the play run. Pagan's 0 2 again. And Abreu lays up. One and... Their slugging was 100. They hit one. Fastball is right side. Polanco caught. All on the best pitch slug in baseball. I mean, to your point earlier, AJ. I think we're seeing that sweeper more sweep to it. We saw him throw a couple that were real bangers that had some credit. Well, one to Diaz. Out of Tom Berducci to put a cap on it. Yeah, that was great. There's Dubon. Angling in. And he, the rarest.
first of rare sights. Two homers off of Gray. We're halfway. Said, I want to be the number one pick. Dansby Swanson, a very good player in his own right, was the number one for both of those teams. No kid. There goes the runner, Jeffers. Is Dubon. He's at the. Continues the same pattern against Polanco. Lining one towards first and foul. Abreu. Close pitches, one and one. A new big league pitcher. Get out of play foul. Blitter. Bregman lifts this ball into center field. That'll get down for a base hit. Mm -hmm. Well, at that time, Kepler's going to fire to second to get By the pitching coach. Pete Mackey came out before that Alvarez at bat. They retire him. Tucker was one of their best, but he'll punch that on the ground to Polanco. He's in the game with the lefty Kirilov up. We get pinch hit by a righty, Donovan Solano. Effective against both. He lifts one to Tucker. He's got it. There's out number. Titter Correa gets a hit. Now the Twins have a chance to get back in this game. Castro fouls the first pitch. A 1 1. Hard hit. Gonna get the go sign for Correa. He will. He'll take a strike. 